Welcome back again, folks, to the show. Well, it's been 12 hours, and I went ahead and took all the crap off of the, uh, the guitar, the clamps and everything. You can look at it. It really looks good. You can see down in the joint. Let's see. This is the side right in where you're looking there. It's where we was broke and we glued. Maybe you can see that crack there. Uh, well, it was right here. It's where it is. And got good squeeze out inside on the neck block. And uh, let's see what else did we glue? Oh yeah, this crack. Now I can I can touch that up. Let me get that where the lights there. I think that's it. I can touch that up a little bit better than that too, and wheel, and the front that part. Uh, but first today, well, right now, right now we're going to put in uh, cleats. On this crack right here, the one I just showed you, we're going to cleat that up. I'm going to put three rosewood cleats in there. Uh, and we'll use magnets to hold them in place. That's what I had a hold of there. These magnets will hurt you. They are uh, N50 earth magnets, I think is what they're called. If they if they slam together and your finger's in there, they probably could break a finger. I don't know, but it sure hurts. I can tell you that. Uh, if you just let go of them and let them fly together by themselves, they usually bust themselves like that. And that's just a bunch of pieces where, where that happened, actually. But anyways, keep those away from everything. Uh, yeah, I'll move the camera over here closer. And I want to put a cleat, start with a cleat right against the, the Gibson cleat, I guess is what we'll call it. And then one in the center of this crack, and then one in the very end of it. Now, I got one bigger cleat here that's bigger than the other two. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a rosewood cleat. Now, that's the one I want to put up here at the uh, beginning of the crack, right there beside the neck block, or beside the Gibson cleat, rather. So, uh, 12 hours later, this thing looks good. Hold on, I'll bring you over here. I'll just come and get you right now and bring you. Now, I've already made a bunch of dry runs on this, practice runs, if you will. So all I'm going to do, all I'm doing here now is just putting glue on the cleats. And I'm going to let them set here a little bit and let this glue kind of, uh, not really get hard, but start to set. And that way, the cleats will hold herself in place. Uh, until I get the magnets in, uh, the magnets to them to hold, and then I'm going to put several magnets on them to uh, work as a clamp, so to speak. So let's do it, man. Here's the first big one. That's the biggest cleat that I'm going to use out of the bunch. And I want to flop this bad boy over like so. Yeah, I get more glue on me than I do the cleat. And try to get him right there. Hopefully that's in the right place. Yeah, missed it a little bit, but it's close. Very much close. Still got, <clears throat> still got shirts, by the way. If anyone's not got themselves a shirt yet, uh, still have plenty of those. Well, not plenty. I've got a few left, several. So, if you want a shirt, just like say the word. <laughs> what is the word, you might ask? Let me make sure that's not got glue. I don't want to glue the magnet to. Yeah, we're good. All good. Alright, I just want to get a, a magnet on that puppy. Yeah, I can't show you this too well. I guess you all figured that out by now. I think that's right on the cleat. Perfect, man. Actually, I moved that a little bit. There, I think it moved itself. And I need to come upward a little bit. That's what I like about these magnets, man. They are 
so easy to get in place. You know, once you get one of them where you want it. Move them down a little bit now. You can just move them around wherever you need them to go. Makes it very much handy. And I do want to put more magnets on. One more inside. And I think we'll call that cleat good. Let's straighten the magnets up again, no doubt, but boy, those things have got some force, man. I am telling you what now. They have got some serious force to them. That's probably enough to hold that, I think. Sorry I can't show you guys this, but uh, hey. <laughs> now, the next size cleat, I want to put it, uh, where do I want to put it? Just about the center of that crack. Yes, sir. Let's do it. That'd be this one right here. We'd like to be able to see down in there. is perfect man excellent yes sir let's get magnets on that puppy now gluing in the cleats I'm sorry I can't really show you much here we're getting two of them while I'm at it wow picking up through my hand <laughs> all right let's see like that uh, I'm going to probably have to turn this over this way for this. Get stuck to the other magnets. Oh well, now it's got three on it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to show you much of this now that I think about it. But do what we can do, you know what I mean? There we go. And we have to keep the light. Oh, yeah. I think all of the magnets are going to want to stick together. They are. That's still cool though because it's holding. And one more cleat at uh, near the end of the crack. It doesn't really have to be at the end of it, but near it. And that would be, I see exactly where I want the cleat to go. Wish me luck. It's very hard to get them to go in exactly the right place. Actually, I need to turn this cleat around like so okay my little flashlight I'm going to put this one right there with any luck and actually need to move that a little bit That's it, folks. I'm going to let that set for a minute before I try to get another magnet on that because that's going to try to move, I'm afraid. The magnets, I mean, are trying to move. Yeah. That's perfect. Right where she sits. Well, there she be, folks. There's two of them. One right beside the Gibson cleat, another one about an inch or two from it, and then I put one, I gotta let the glue set up on this one a little bit right there, uh, before I can try to get a magnet on it because it's gonna, magnets wanna pull toward each other, 
and I'm afraid I'll move the cleat if I try to as that cleat is so small I'm just afraid it will move if I try to put magnets on it before the glue starts to set a little bit anyways I uh, used to use a lot of times these you know, hold a cleat with that and you get in there wherever you want it and put it and these things right here I always like them too I don't know if you can see the arms extending or not, but you can hold the cleat, and then all you got to do is just push it. Uh, you know, say it's holding the cleat, push it in to let go of it, pull it away. Uh, that's an electronic uh, chip IC remover, I think, is what that used to be. But it's a cleat installer now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm still going to wait a little longer before I put these magnets on that last cleat because, like I say, they want to pull toward each other, and I'll probably knock the cleat off the crack if I, you know, move it very much. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes, I don't know, 15 minutes or something, and then clamp it with a couple of these. It should be good to go. Might start touching the finish up a little bit. And like I say, I can't do anything else to the neck block, at least for another five days or so. Well, I don't know, it won't be five days when you see this. It'll probably have the neck back on it by the time you see this video. I don't know. Anyways, I want to touch it to finish up a little bit and uh, around that crack there that we're cleaning now. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, a shirt, baby. I don't have one of them on right now. If you want a shirt, PayPal me. Um, I put uh, my PayPal email down here, right down there. PayPal me 24 bucks if you live in the States, uh, 27 everywhere else. And the shirts goes out every Monday. Thank you guys, everyone that got one. Man, they're going like hotcakes. Thanks so much for that. Uh, anyways, I'll put my PayPal email down here. PayPal me 24 for the States, 27 everywhere else in the world. And every Monday, they get shipped out. So, uh, I don't know, like I say, I don't know when you'll see this, but the uh, shirts goes out on Mondays. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Hold on.